Hello my little willies, in this tutorial we're going to learn how to knit a beautiful spiral hat for the whole family. You will find the written instructions on my website, there is a link for you below this video on the description box. For this project you will need wool number 4 or medium in two different colors, the quantities for each size are specified on the written instructions. 5 mm knitting needles or US H size, 5 mm crochet hook or US H H, darning needle, measurement tape, and scissors. Before starting, please check your gauge. 20 stitches and 31 rows in stock in a stitch equals 4 inches or 10 centimeters. Firstly, we're going to need a provisional cast on with the crochet hook and a long piece of scrap yarn. You can use something smooth like cotton yarn in a contrasting color. And we are going to chain five stitches more than needed for your size. For example, if we are needing the hat for a six months old baby, then we're going to chain 50. Don't worry, everything is on the written instructions. Cut the yarn and make a knot or a couple of knots on the side where you started the chain. That's important, we will need it later. Now facing the wrong side of the crochet chain, it looks like a bunch of hyphens and you have the knot on the right side. With your knitting needle and color A, we are going to pull a stitch through every hyphen. Leave a long tail of the color A yarn. and pull a stitch through every hyphen or every knot. Until you have 40 stitches if you are needing the smallest size. Now we're going to place a marker on this side. This is the right side of the work. So we always remember where we are. could be also a pin. We are going to increase one stitch at the beginning of the row and we are going to decrease one stitch at the end of the row. Only on the odd rows or right side of the work. So now we are going to need two preparatory rows that won't be repeated again. First row, knit one, yarn over, knit two last three stitches, and then knit two together, knit one. Second row, we are going to purl every stitch. And when you get to the yarn over, we are going to purl this stitch through the back loop so we don't get a hole there. And purl the last one as well. Okay, these two preparatory rows have been made with color A. Now take color B Leave a little bit of tail
and we are going to purl one. This is the right side of the work again. Yarn over and keep purling until the last three stitches. Now purl two together and purl one. Every stripe has four rows. That was the first one of the four. Second row, knit across. Knit every stitch and when you get to the yarn over, we have to knit this stitch through the back loop. So we don't have a hole there. Third row is exactly as the first one. Pass again one yarn over the other. Purl one, yarn over. Purl two last three stitches. Now, purl two together, purl one. Fourth and last row, knit every stitch. And when you get to the yarn over, knit this stitch through the back loop and knit one. So our color B stripe is finished. Now we're going to knit the color A stripe. Pass one yarn over the other. And let's do the four rows again. Row one, knit one, Yarn over and knit two last three stitches. Knit two together, knit one. Second row, purl every stitch. And when you get to the yarn over, purl it through the back loop and purl one. Every time you have the two yarns on the same side, you have to pass one over the other. Third row, like the first one, knit one, yarn over, and keep knitting until you have only three stitches. Knit two together, knit one. Fourth row, purl every stitch. And when you get to the yarn over, purl the stitch through the back loop. And then with purl one. So these are the two color stripes. We have to repeat these two stripes several times depending on the size you are knitting. For example, the smallest size for a baby six months old needs 20 stripes in total. Then we are going to need another color B stripe, exactly as we did before. Four more rows in color B. To finish the hat, we're going to need 
two more rows in color A as follows. Row 1, right side of the work, net 1, yarn over, net to last three stitches, net 2 together, net 1. Second row, pour every stitch, until you reach the yarn over. So purl it through the back loop, finishing with purl one. Now we're going to join the hat using the grafting technique and it will look like a square. And I'm going to use my final piece, the real hat. Now we're going to undo the crochet chain we made and we need to start not on the side where we placed the knot, it's the other side that we will start on doing. Please be careful, do it slowly. The first stitch is a little bit difficult, so take your time. Help yourself with your needle, knitting needle. And there it is, the first stitch. From here on, it's easier to undo the chain and catch the stitches. At the end, we have to count. We should have the same number of stitches of the cast on. That's it. Now, facing the right side of the work, we are going to put one needle in front of the other. This is my right side. I can see the last two rows, like these. Align your needles. As I said, one in front of the other. Now you can cut your yarn, leaving a long tail like three times the width of the stitches that you have on your needle and now thread your darning needle. Now we're going to do a couple of preparatory steps. So, pull the yarn through the first stitch as if to purl on the front needle and the first stitch of the back needle pull the yarn as if to knit. Now come back to the front stitch and pull the yarn as if to knit Drop the stitch, pull the yarn on the front stitch as if to purl and pull the yarn on the back stitch as if to purl and drop it. Pull the yarn as if to knit on the back stitch 
pull the yarn as if to knit on the front stitch and drop it, pull the yarn as if to purl on the front stitch and keep it there. On the back stitch as if to purl, on the back stitch as if to knit, keep it there. On the front stitch as if to knit and drop it, on the front stitch as if to purl and keep it there. On the back stitch as if to purl and drop it, on the back stitch as if to knit and keep it there. And there you have your seamless join. Keep doing these steps until you get to the last stitches. It's perfect seamless join. And now we're going to sew up our little hat. First we can weave in the ends so you can hide all the rests of yarn. And then we will start sewing up. So pull the darning needle underneath every color B stripe and then pull the yarn to close the circumference. We're working on the right side of the Pull it very tight, make two or three knots, little knots, to secure, and do it again. Pull the yarn underneath. The same color of stripes. This will give the hat the shape you want. A real spire. Now pull the yarn through the wrong side. And now we can again weave in the ends, make more knots to secure, and then you can just join the pom pom. If you haven't done a pom-pom yet, I am going to give you a link to see how it's done below this video on the description box. Secure 
your pom-pom. And that's it. Now you have a great spiral hat for the whole family. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please subscribe to the channel and happy knitting!